Hey guys, Travis with Everglades, and today we're going to talk about this John Deere 335P that's smart grade ready with slope control and lasers. Stick around. All right, so let's talk about what this is and who would use it, right? Okay, so first of all, as you can see, this shares a lot in common with a crawler dozer. In fact, this blade itself is not your traditional skid steer dozer blade. The more you look at it, the more you will find it shares a lot of its DNA with the John Deere crawler dozers, right? Now, will this replace a crawler dozer? No, but this does fill a spot in the product lineup where you can say, take a smaller machine, as opposed to having to take your dozer, you can take a smaller machine, do more uh, grading around existing structures and tighter areas, say if there's trees, you know, say for example, like if you had to uh, build, say a road, a ditch and a bike path, right? You could do the, back, the bike path with this thing and have your dozer doing the other project. And also if you look at what you can do with a compact track loader versus a dozer, right? This dozer, I can drop the dozer attachment <clears throat> and I can go hook up to a bucket, a set of pallet forks. I can even hook up to a mulching head if I want to and clear some land. There's multiple things you can do with this unit aside push, push dirt. All right, so let's talk about what comprises this system, okay? So obviously the heart of this system is the SG96A blade. Now check this out. This is an improvement over the SG96 blade. That was the blade that was on the G series skid steers that we started seeing coming out last year and the years before. Now the A does have some improvements to it, right? But back to the blade, this blade shares a lot in common with the blade from a John Deere 450 crawler dozer. Going into this blade, you can see obviously we have our mast for our laser receivers. These are adjusted up and down the mast in order to make sure that these can see the laser, right? And then going back to the blade, you can see as we take a look here at the frame of the dozer blade, you can see that there's a lot more to this blade than there would be in say, your traditional skid steer dozer blade as you might think it, right? Because you can see this massive ball joint we have down here. Again, this shares a lot of DNA with those crawler dozers. You can also see we have these mounting hooks right here. With these mounting hooks, we're able to more or less roll into our box blade attachment and scarifier attachment. That gives you a lot of versatility without having to leave the cab of the machine, right? You can just basically almost like those old school flop over backhoe forks, right? You can just roll up under there, but um, connect on there and go to work. Okay, you're done with your box blade, drop your box blade, go back to your regular dozer blade, right? So the box blade gives you a lot of utility because you're able to carry material and you're able to do more of like a precision final finish, right? The blade gives you more versatility just for hogging dirt, knocking over piles, and it's a very effective system for that. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that this blade comes with slope control and you have the option of running lasers. So what's slope control? Slope control does not use lasers, but what it does is it will more or less auto-correct the blade to stay on a flat plane with the machine, right? So if you're just doing a flat path and you just want the blade just to auto-correct, slope control. But when you're running slope control, you do not have an elevation reference. How do you get an elevation reference? In other words, how do you tell the machine to reference off of a fixed point? That's where your laser comes in. You can run this system with any laser that spins at least 600 RPMs, just like the rims on my Cadillac Escalade. So what the laser does is it creates a plane that's an elevation reference point that the receivers on the machine will recognize and then auto-correct the blade to stay to that point. New to the John Deere P-tier machines, you have the ability to run this off of a single laser receiver and you can run the other side and slope control. Now, why would you do that? Well, let's say for example, that you're in such a position on your job where only one receiver can see the laser, right? And the other side still needs to be able to stay on grade, right? You have the ability to do that on the P-tier. So whenever they engineered this machine, they really knocked it out of the park. One of the things they did, so we've all talked about these 270 degree cameras, right? It's not 360 because you can obviously see out the front of the machine, right? These cameras, as you raise and lower the boom, they still focus right here so you get visibility of the side of your machine. In your camera display screen, you can always have good situational awareness around you while you're running the machine. Now, as we work our way up, we can obviously see the star of what I'm talking about. This is called 
the Technology Backpack. A lot of people see those and they're like, is that some kind of roof cooler? Wrong. On the P-tier machines, the cooling system has been completely redesigned. There is no need for an external roof cooler on this machine. They did an excellent job engineering the cooling system of this, even to run the most demanding attachments like your cold planters, mulching heads, things that would generate a lot of heat. Now back to the Technology Backpack. What's that? The Technology Backpack comes with the SG96A dozer blade. More or less what that does is it helps talk to the dozer blade and tell it what to do. So like I said, this technology backpack interfaces with the controls of the machine. It allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. Here's three of them. Number one is dozer mode. You're able to press a button on the keypad in there, which will flip the controls from skid steer controls to controls like you would find in a crawler dozer. So what that does, it allows you to more efficiently move the dozer blade the same way you would in a crawler dozer. Here's the second thing you can do. You can do something called easy grade. Easy grade is great for if you're just hogging some material and you just want it to stay relatively flat while you're hogging a lot of material. That's what easy grade's good for. Number three is dozer creep. When you're running the blade, you usually wanna have it in creep mode, say about 60, 70% of top speed. You're able to maintain a steady speed going forward and push your material. What dozer creep lets you do is when you operate in reverse, it automatically goes back to full speed because we're only making money if we're pushing material forward. We're not making money whenever we're backing up. So whenever you can just leave the machine in creep mode to push your dirt and back up, every time you back up, you're automatically in full speed. And then you can come, come right back to your next pass and you go right back to the speed where you were previously pushing dirt. When you add grade control to a P-tier machine, you also get this G5 display, which is a 10.1 inch color display, right? This allows you to easily interface with the dozer blade and tell it what you wanna do. You can go from dual lasers to single lasers. You got your slope control here. You also have your slope control menu where we can run through here. See, we can change our easy grade on or off. We can do dozer creep. We can do our calibrations. We can change our main fall, our cross slope, all right here through this display. It's very intuitive to use. It's much like using any modern smartphone these days. You can see the orientation of the machine. Very simple to use machine. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So I know this is a lot to take in, but if you have any questions about grade control and precision solutions, we got 18 locations in Florida. We're a family owned John Deere dealership and we'll take good care of you. I represent a lot of good people at Everglades Equipment and we got your back after you buy the machine. Thanks for watching.